Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda for the NES. I am TWF Disturbed, and today we will be taking on Death Mountain. We will be taking on the last dungeon of the game. I'm not sure if this is going to be a two-part finale. We'll just have to see how long it takes. Uh, as you can see, we have max hearts, and uh, we have our master key. But we are still missing, like, one item in the game. And, uh... We will be getting a couple items in the dungeon. So uh, I will be doing the, uh, there's two different paths in this dungeon. Uh, let's start heading there. Uh, there is a magical key uh, way to beat the game and there is a way without the magic key. I will be doing it with the magic key since that's what I do have. And uh, we got that from the last episode. So we need to head up. And head up and head up. Mostly, we're just going to be heading up for a while now. Try to avoid those guys. They always hit me, man. They always take at least one of my hearts. And I don't want to lose my heart. As I say that, I take a hit. So, it's cool. It's whatever. I'm still not sure if there's a way to kill those guys. I mean, there, there should be. There has to be. Uh, head up here. Up here, right here. I just done that to get rid of the rock screen so I didn't take a hit. But we are on uh, Death Mountain. And uh, I went ahead off screen and bought a potion at the one potion shop. Um, there is a potion shop along the way here. So you could always do that. I just, uh, I guess the OCD in me wants it full, wants to have that item. So. But if you want the, uh, the potion, I think it's the potion shop right here. Blow bomb right here. Go down. Nope, this is the dungeon. Uh, I keep getting those mixed up. But, uh, we are in Death Mountain now, so let's see. So, what we need to do is head up, and we get greeted by the old. If you don't have the Triforce, there'll be an old man here. And he says, one who does not have the Triforce cannot go in. Or cannot, or can't go in. I don't know why I can say cannot. Uh, anyway, so, of course, we have the Triforce. So, we can go in, so we're going to get off my bombs before I accidentally use them. And head left. Fight some Wizro. Oh, no. Luckily, I got bailed out there by getting the ferry. I am playing horrible. Ow. Oh. So what you want to do is bomb this wall here. Head in this room here. I want to play, play the coward way. I just want to stand in the back over here. Oh crap, I forgot to have bomb. So this is why I don't like have bomb equipped. But I did bomb a secret entrance here. And we're going to push this down and head down here.
kind of looked like he was attracted to the fire. It was really interesting. So we're gonna go in this room here. And head in here and get ready to fight some like likes. Just make sure they don't get your shield because you're gonna need your shield for the rest of this dungeon. There's a lot of projectiles. so we can head right. Light up the room. Go with these guys. I don't know why I keep turning around. Um, I guess it's a habit. Now, here comes one of the enemies that is like the bane to my existence. I cannot stand this guy here. I always take too much damage from him. Oh my god. I hate that guy. I can never kill him right. Uh, I know I'm playing really reckless. Uh, I'm not trying to. I actually am trying to play normal. <laughs> but, uh, let's see here. Go ahead and bomb this wall and just skip these guys. There's no point in killing them. Of course, in this room, why do I always turn? Oh my god. Oh, 
So now we gotta do some backtracking. Get off of me. Get that guy. Get that guy. Oh man. I really need to find like a berry. And then we're going to stand up. The old guy will tell us to go to the next room, and then you're like, wait, what next room? There's only one door. Of course, this is Zelda. So we're gonna bomb the wall. Uh, go ahead. Go in here and get ready to get beat up again. Fight some more wizard ropes. You don't have, I don't think you have to kill these guys, so I'm gonna do it trying to eat hearts. And of course, I don't. Um, in the next room, we have Keys. If you kill all them, you'll get uh, five rupees. You don't have to kill them. And I'm taking unnecessary hits. The only reason I was, I, I didn't want five rupees, I was just trying to get hearts. Fight this guy again. Oh my god. That was like the luckiest I've had. Oh wow. I am getting so lucky right there. <laughs> uh, wow. I, I really am speechless. Like, I have never just killed that guy like that. After we do that, we're going to come into a room with a bunch of whiz groves, and uh, I'm pretty sure we can skip them. So, if I can, I will. The orange ones don't bother me, it's the blue ones, man, to take just too many hits. When has a wizard ever had that kind of defense? You know what I mean? Like, if you play RPGs, you, everybody knows wizards are like, they're so weak, they're cloth wearers. I mean, I play World of Warcraft, uh, and my main is a mage, so of course, you know, I know. Um, so in the next room, it's going to be really annoying, because we have more wiz roads, we have a tighter space, and we have the bubbles. All them. Let's the set block. Stairs. Where we will get the magic arrows. Now you need these to uh, kill Ganon. So. Track a little. Okay, so we go back here. Let's go to the windrows. I really wish these bats would drop hearts. I guess it'd be kind of awkward how they would drop them. I don't know. 
So once we're back in this room, I'm gonna head up. Make sure these guys here don't eat your shield. You don't have. I'm not sure if you have to kill these guys or not. Right now, I'm trying to farm for a barrier, some hearts, and of course, I'm not getting anything. So, kill all these guys. And we're gonna head up. And as soon as you head up, you need to hold up. Because you're gonna have spikes. Cool if the spikes actually killed him also. We can just like knock him into the spikes. But uh we're gonna head north here. Get your bombs ready, unless you wanna fight some whiz robes, which uh, I really really don't. Place your bomb. Go left. Be able to stand in the middle of the spikes. So I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you're not watching this as a walkthrough, so... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, so you have to be careful there. Sorry guys, I know I'm not talking a whole lot. Uh, just trying to concentrate. This code is pretty bad. I just took some uh, cough syrup for it. Try to clear out my sinuses a little and get rid of the cough. Oh my god, come on. So, in this room, a bunch of bombs. Get hit. So I'm gonna hit again. Okay. So we're gonna have to uh, heal all of these guys here. And just hope one of them drops a fairy. Uh, you know you could have. Ah! Go. Just walk down. Go through the staircase. Oh, come on. Die, 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 die. Okay, and this room here will be Ganon. So, uh, all right, guys, let's do this. Uh, get me. I don't know if I should have my potion ready. Yeah, no, I want to have my potion ready just in case. So we walk in. We hold up the Triforce. We light it. Now Ganon will shoot fireballs. Now you cannot block these from your shield. He goes in a pattern. Every time you hit him, he will change up his pattern. So that's three times I'm going to use my potion. Oh, 
go ahead and get the bow and arrow ready. Boom, and that's it. Let's grab the Triforce. Head inside. Just hit fire with your uh, sword. And we grab Zelda. And that's going to bring an end to uh, uh, Let's Play The Legend of Zelda for the NES. Now, this is my first uh, Let's Play. Done. Wow, I really can't believe I've actually done this. So, if you guys did, if, thank you for watching. If you watched it, uh, please leave a like. And I'll let the credits roll. So, I'll be splitting this dungeon up into uh, two episodes. That's a long dungeon, so. But, thank you guys so much for watching. TWS Disturbed, out.